In this video, we will be proving the chord chord theorem, which says that if you have two chords within a circle, AB and CD, that intersect at a point E, then AE times EB equals CE times ED. To begin this proof, let's connect points A and D and points B and C to form two distinct triangles within our circle. Notice that angles AED and CEB are equal since they're opposite interior angles. In my previous video, which I'll link in the top right of the screen right now, we proved that the angle subtended by an arc at the center of a circle is double the angle subtended by that same arc at any point on the remaining circumference of that circle. Which means that if we call the angle formed at the center A, then the angles formed at the points of the circumference must be A divided by 2. Another observation that we can make, which is more relevant to our proof of the chord chord theorem, is that a given arc subtends the same angle at any point on the remaining circumference of the circle, because that angle must always be a divided by 2. This means that the angles formed at points B and D must be equal, because they are both subtended by the arc AC, and let's call these angles x. And by that same logic, the angles formed at points A and C must be equal, because they are both subtended by the arc BD. And let's call these angles Y. And this means that the remaining angle in each triangle must be 180 minus X minus Y. Now we've shown that these two triangles are similar triangles, because they both share the angles X, Y, and 180 minus X minus Y. In similar triangles, we know that the sides opposite the same angle must be in the same ratio. So the ratio of the sides opposite angle x in each triangle, so AE over CE, must be equal to the ratio of the sides opposite angle Y, so ED over EB. If we cross multiply, we get that AE times EB is equal to CE times ED. And that's all there is to the proof of the chord-chord theorem.